everyone, and welcome back to Chicano Cinema. This week, what we are going to watch is the film Salt of the Earth. Now, Salt of the Earth was only possible because of the communist blacklist. Now, there were a bunch of filmmakers that were prominent filmmakers in Hollywood, but when the government found out that they were a part of the Communist Party, they were blacklisted and they were no longer allowed to make films. This allowed them to look at other groups who were experiencing similar struggles and they decided to use those movie making talents and to tell a story that was truly part of the American experience but from a marginalized group. Now this group of filmmakers read about a group of miners in New Mexico that had gathered together and unionized and be, through their bonding fought for equal rights. This is something that they really responded to, so they went down to New Mexico, interviewed all of these different miners, and then made a movie that is starring the miners. So the people that you see in the film were actually the people who went on strike and got their rights, fought for their rights. So is the acting gonna be stellar? No, not really, but you're going to be seeing like real history, the people reenacting what they had done before. Now there are some professional actors, but the main actress in this film was deported for being in the film and her visa was permanently revoked. That's how dangerous they thought this film was. Well, in America they were really afraid of communists, they were definitely afraid of these marginalized groups unionizing as well, so this is like a double whammy, right? So when the film was made, it was very dangerous and they tried to shut it down. The film was blacklisted, the film was banned, and in the areas where the film was able to make it to a theater, people would like boycott it there or the film projectionist wouldn't show up. They had a bunch of problems, but you're gonna see a film that is so far ahead of its time in terms of ideals of equality. And the story itself is one that definitely needs to be told. Is this the true beginning of Chicano cinema? No, but it's the leading up to Chicano cinema. And I don't know if Chicano cinema would be possible if it wasn't for this film. So enjoy the film. I can't wait to talk about it with you. And I'll see you on the other side. 